I'm at 108. 108.60. That's not terrible. Bowser's Castle doesn't count as an exit, by the way. 1. World Gen is pretty tame compared to 1.3. Ah, okay. But yeah, Bowser's Castle. <laughs> This is gonna be a tough one, cause like, I am at the point, this might like be a soft finale of jump just so I can move on to a different slot. Um, it feels disappointing if I don't beat it, but I want to give it a shot. But if I don't, like, I might just like, see how far I get and take today to be like, okay, this was cool and all, but jump is like, you know, done, quote unquote, for now. Something I come back to, like, when I'm bored and have some downtime and only want to stream, like, a little bit of something. But I kind of want to open the slot back up to other things, so. Let's get the compression gloves going. Uh, cool. Alright. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm, I'm making a call right now, like, today is like, soft finale. Today is finale for now, probably, come back and beat it in the other levels at some point. Um, but I'm pretty much okay to let this be like a send-off for Jump for right now. Because, as a soft reminder, there are other things I gotta do here. Um, after Jump, I have to do FF6 Brave New Worlds. And by that, I mean I'm going to try it once, and if that doesn't work out, I'll just play the Steam version of FF6 and call that good for the incentive. Um, I still owe a one speedrun of some kind, and it's going to be Mystic Quest, and I'm like practicing it now. And then after that, I owe a playthrough of Dark Souls, which will probably just take up the miscellaneous slot for a while. Like, I'll do some tactics and lead into Dark Souls. Um... And then after Xenogears, I owe um, a blind playthrough of Okami, followed by a blind playthrough of Nier Automata. And after the Monk SEC, I owe a Ruby Nuzlocke. So I still owe stuff, but we're actually kind of making some headway into it. But I don't want to spend all day just throwing my face at this if it's beyond me. And I don't want to hate this game going out. So I'm going to see how far I get in Bowser's Castle today. And then I'm gonna call it good for now. I will come back to it at some point, probably, to actually beat it. But it's going strictly on the back burner or just a side off of... I feel like streaming, like, an extra hour or something. Let's throw on jump, see how far I get, lol. In the spirit of that, yeah, today's last day of jump. Um, and tactics... Uh, that's, that's still going. I'm leveled enough. Today I'm gonna be actually continuing proper plot. So, um, yeah, please look forward to it. Huh. <sighs> okay, now that I'm, like, done being distracted by Twitter for this exact second in time, I say that. Okay. Bowser's Castle, chat room, who's ready to, like, start the send-off of this thing? Who's, who's ready? Where do it be? I'm gonna take another sip of coffee for luck. So the Bowser fight's altered, I'm gonna say that right now. Uh, Marcel did the, um... Marcel, Marcel did the, uh, um, Bowser fight. And it's hard. It's really hard. So, um, yeah, this one's gonna be a thing. Also, this is like, uh, straight up just multi-person. No Yoshis, it saves also Peach. So, wait, does this actually count as an exit then? The princess icon is really nice. Also, Bowser's castle is literally just a normal castle of mouth. But, yeah. There's like several paths per route, and sometimes they cross over. And there's sometimes a lot of stuff to do between checkpoints. The end of this level gets downright marathon-y. 
So I'm basically going to just be trial and airing a bunch of doors to see if I can find one that works. And go from there. So yeah, send it off, jump! Let's go. Yeah, so we have this like first little intro hallway bit. I know I've attempted this. There's one, and then there's two and three. Let's let's just go this methodically. Let's go this. I can words real good. I want to say this was done by Yolp. This section. Oh, I should have like actually taken that shell. Yeah, I kind of want to wait for our Magic Koopa. I don't know if there's another power up or not. If you hadn't jumped at that exact second, we'd be in what you might call business, but that hallway was just paint. There's a potobo there. Okay. <sighs> that was telegraphed. We're off to a start. Okay, let's let's just let's try each door and then see how far I want to go in each. But I vaguely recall one being like the good door out of the first set. Ironically, it being the Yulpen Gambler door was actually the tamest. Uh, it's the tamest of his levels for sure. Um, right, do I have the thing that... I don't have the thing. Okay, um, I need to go remedy that here in a sec. Alright, this is a thing. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go buy the thing. Um... Much as I would have loved to have earned my entry into Bowser's Castle, I don't want to throw myself at Ludwig or Impetuous all day. Also, I wish there was a cheaty way to do that level because going around the entirety of Star World is getting annoying. I'm not going to get lives because I want to see how many lives I lose at any given time. It wasn't here. It was in World 4s, wasn't it? No. Here's the level author list. Okay. You could have added a secret exit to Ludwig's or something to... Connect it to Richest Warehouse or something and just make it really awful to do. Okay. For real this time. Now that I have the level author list. Because you can actually see, yeah, one, yeah, that was Yolt. Okay. I just remembered that. Two's is Ravig. I gave it technically a try. This is Quiet Protag's room, and it doesn't continue past there. Although, I wonder what happens if you get there with a cave. I actually kind of want to try. Alright, yeah, the, the Thwomp room. I knew that was bad because I should have jumped immediately. Should have been spin jump immediately. Oh, what? Guess that works. Unhack. Okay. Ah, uh, rehack. Okay. I could have high bounced or something. Okay, I like vaguely remember that being a thing, and then I just literally just run into a thwomp. Okay. Hmm. Between one and three right now. Between one and three. I'm between Yulps and Quiet Pro Tags. Rav Eggs is like really hard. I, you know what? No. Screw it. I'm just like gonna. Let's go Quiet Pro Tag here, I guess. Oh, 
Let's give Rav Eggs a proper shot. Although I still don't understand the beginning. Because it feels like you just take damage. Here. Okay, you don't. That goes in the lava, doesn't know it does not. Okay. That said, yeah, Ravex is like the hardest out of this path. Alright. I'm just gonna alternate between one and three. One is just kind of very straightforward castle level, like with Magic Koopa and Boomerang Bros. Three is like this real Jump didn't jump. <sighs> Jumped it. How was that input? Delicious? I sure hope it was. I hope you got your nutrition. I hope you got your fill because it's the last you will ever in all of creation. It's not even close to the last. Video games are gluttons for inputs. They eat them constantly. Cool. Get in for a sec. I want that shell, but like... Okay, let's not do exactly that. Okay. I'm just gonna bounce between one and three because they seem like the easiest. The first leg isn't that bad from what I recall, but like... Like I said, not gonna be the last. I wish this had instant retry, like, I know it defeats the difficulty of the marathonness, but like, I kind of wish this, like, had instant retry. sink and I don't like that. Never mind, it's okay. Why does that happen? Is it ice physics? Oh, that mushroom's gone. Uh, hello? Oh no, it's not gone. Okay. I thought there was a lava pit there. I guess, I guess not, yeah. Yeah, there's ice physics, I think. Yeah, it's not over. Now you have a left and right choice. I'm going left first. This is by World Peace. Is this? This This is this one. Okay. This is. You may notice I have fireballs. Three, two, one. Take off! I don't remember which of the left and right is like the one I actually want. Okay, I'm gonna try not world pieces next time just because like it you lift off for a lot longer than it would seem And so like actually making progress in it. It's kind of awkward. I beat three So I know I can beat three
Uh, wall clip! Hooray! You, you'd love to see it. There's just some power up here. It is so easy to- okay, it's spikes, not lava, okay. Yeah, getting off of that thing makes it kind of hard. And it's a matter of which one can I beat more consist consistently. Davida, he's terrible at betraying lives. No, give me instant retry. What does adding those few seconds actually give me? Literally nothing. I think three is going to be my most consistent bet here. It's longer, but it's like easier. Well, I didn't magically wall clip this time. How's everyone else doing today? How's everyone else doing? Okay, this is safe. I think... Okay, that is not safe. Then where is? That's not. Oh, I, th I don't think anything is safe. I think that third pillar is safe. I think I just take a hit, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna try going right this time. MM! Right, I remember this. This is a thing. This is very much a thing. Who remembers DKC too? I don't know which is better between the two, but I'm really tempted to give myself a practice because I have to go through that every time. I'm going very tired. How was Pokemon today? Today was Pokemon Day, if I recall. All right, let's let's shake it up a little bit. Yeah, I would like to keep that if possible, but of course it was not. Love to give myself like artificial checkpoints, however, the difficulty in this level by design is its stupid marathoniness of it, and it's also the last like level proper. Yeah, three seems the most consistent. I would like to beat one once, two is right out. Two weeks from being done with the original series, moving on to the advanced series. Noise. This is a don't hold the jump button check until the very end. I always get hit on a spike here, which sucks because I'm losing a hit. hit there regardless. But it doesn't matter because there's mushrooms everywhere here.
I'm gonna give myself a checkpoint here so then it's like I've beaten the section. I am I am technically fulfilled. Giving world peace is another shot. MMs isn't bad. The trick is to like go down as far as possible so that you have more time to like actually descend. that wrong. I made the wrong call, but it looks like world pieces is the way to go. And like I recognize that, that was my own stupid mistake, but it hurts a lot more because I was at the end of it and that was near a checkpoint and it's like god how much do I have to redo? Granted I'm getting better at the quiet protag room. This is the easiest by like a lot. It literally doesn't matter if I take a hit. Because there's a free hit right here. Ooh, they're synced. And of course, I did the dumb and didn't make it actually on the display. I want to give myself practice mode even though I don't need it. This is actually, like, pretty straightforward easy. It's not easy. It's, it's actually not really easy. It's not easy at all, but like, there's a method to it. Oh, I wanted to go down a little farther. Damn. Like, the trick is don't panic and don't be afraid to lose progress. Because it's better than taking a hit. In the door! Zwee! Pog. <sighs> okay, that's the first leg. That's the easy part. There's a little bit more main castle here that you have to do every single time you die. And then back to another, everyone's favorite, three room choice! Alright. Four, five, or six. Let's start with four. This is where it actually gets hard. This is a terraformer's room, number four. Oh, right. You're turbo fast from holding Y. Press X or Y to move cloud even faster. Jumping off the cloud means death. So, jump is banned. Alright. For some reason, thought I had the world peace always fire thing going on. Would have been really handy. Getting hit once means backup power up is pointless. Okay, that's four. That's doable? I was panicking a lot. That feels like I could learn that. 
By the way, I, I'm like, I'm actually gonna tank a death here. I'm gonna go save right the hell now. Oh my god, I'm going to save right the hell now. Pog champ. Give me a battery save. Loop straight in lava, yep. So, 99-87, that was 12 deaths in the first leg. I kinda wanna get like exactly one one up here. Give me my Zwee. Zwee. Oh yeah, she texts. Not text. Uh, message someone else. Someone else. I don't actually want to power up. Yeah, I should get exactly one one up, but like that's gonna be hard to like time. So I don't want more than one. I want to tank two deaths, or yeah, two deaths exactly. New computer is nice. Yo, no, what is up, Halo? I want to go tank two deaths, like, real quick. Cool. Why am I going into World 7? I don't actually get to Bowser's 3 World 7 proper right yet. Because I didn't want to do Grand House. Or impetuous, like both of those are just kind of above me levels and I kind of just want to move on with my life. Alright, Bowser's Castle, why do I need to die? I want to get my lives back to where they were. Uh, to try and keep an accurate, like, quote-unquote death counter. Okay, that's gonna be a tricky thing to do, like, consistently every time I die. So is this, so is this, so is this. Yeah, getting back to the- I think 5 is the one I'm gonna avoid like the plague here. This is by Yogli. This is the one I avoid like the plague. This is Munter Snake. Oh, I'm already not hit. Okay, cool. This is pure memorization, but it's like really kind of awkward. There was also a fire flower there, but like it- what, what is the point of an extra power-up? Like an advanced power-up? It's useful, I guess, if you like didn't have a power-up or something. Oh, now there's a second one, by the way. Yeah. I'm not doing this room. <laughs> no way in hell. abso hecking with me now. Mushroom. Seems bad. It's, 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 it's pure memorization. But it's just kind of awkward to actually do. Because there are parts where you think, oh, I just duck in this one tile and I'm fine. Yeah, that's just inevitably gonna happen sometimes. Okay, so was four is doable, five is the one I avoid. This is by Frankie. Uh, name I recognize in the hack, but... Um... This one. Yeah, I think I'm just sticking with four outright. Yeah, I think I'm just sticking with four. I think it's literally just four. <laughs> That's just like really awkward height based platforming. Ooh, I almost just died. Yeah, I have all the time in the world to wait there. Why do I need to jump right again? This is learnable. This is panic inducing, but learnable. All it's just pure D pad, nothing else, all the time. And like not memorization, but reading. Like, this one doesn't seem that bad, and I have a turbo button if I need. Roll it. Roll. Give myself a little more room. Yeah, this is doable. This is doable. This is, like, doable in the sense that I can, like, it's the same every time and I can react to it. And it's not super demanding. This is the be savage, yeah. Nope. 
not losing my hit there. I know the room has a hit, but I'd like to have more. Th I'd like to have both hit. Well, then again, actually, you know what? No, because I'm doing that room. Both hits are kind of pointless because of how fast the auto scroll is. And that is like decidedly the room I'm doing. So actually taking damage here is not the end of the world. Like as long, yeah, because the, the room provides a power up. So like it honestly doesn't matter. If I think I'm gonna get hit, I can try and drop the mushroom, but like, I don't see that happening. Yeah, this is just pure D-pad, which is nice on my left hand, the one that cramps up the most, actually. Uh, this is a pretty decidedly nice break. Yeah, and then situations like that. So I guess, yeah, the extra power up is nice. Down. Actually, I think I can try and beat that there with turbo. Don't try and go under that. Oh, yeah. Go, go over all of that. Go over all of that. I don't have a mnemonic device for it. It's kind of hard to just like pinpoint react, but like go over all of that. It doesn't feel like I should go over that. Everything in these like go under that. It's like the instinct is to duck under that. This is a very fascinating level for me. The er, room rather. Like this is probably the most interesting to me personally. Yeah, even if I take a hit, if I get into this room with a mushroom, I'm fine because I can just like grab that and go like that. So like, even if I take damage, it's not the end of the world. Even early damage, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, that's actually very easy to read. Go under this, beat that there. Yes, good, good, good. Go over all of this. Except that last one. Okay, go over the first two then. Too much zoomy, too much zoomy. Okay. No, okay, this is doable. This is actually weirdly, strangely, kind of super fun. <laughs> I'm actually really having a lot of fun with that room. Trying to puzzle out the actual steps of what to do at any given time is uh, nice. Ooh, I should have gotten hit. I'm like really tempted to just like tank that hit every time, but like, it's bad pros. I wanna just like consistently get here with like a mushroom. Just get that. Yeah, this is like weirdly really fun. You're still constantly like sinking in the cloud. It's not perfect movement, but like it's kind of negligible. Go under, beat it, over, over, under. Actually, I don't need to super zoom that. Go over, and that was it. Oh, still continuing jump. Thank you. Technically, I didn't, because I haven't beaten Grindhouse or Impetuous Athletic, but they're above me right now. I just want to do this. There's so many things I owe for birthday stuff that I kind of want to move on. Not to say I'm quitting jump forever, but, like, I have so much other stuff I need to do and not enough uh, time. Yeah, or st star path, yep. Okay, it's fine if I get this back and don't take damage here. Yep, we're good. 12 deaths on the first leg. I uh, ended up using the Thwomp Room. Why did I hold button? That was danger. That is also danger. Just zoom me through it. This is easy to read. Wait for it. Eat it. Over, over, under. Don't zoom me. I don't need to zoom me. Like, everything in me is like, you need to zoom me there, and it's like, no, I don't. I have a hit. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, okay. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. This this room is really fun. I would play a whole game based off of this gimmick. Like just really fast clouds and dodge stuff. Like I don't know. It just feels fun. Have you ever seen the Underworld uh, Room Four? I technically have because I watched uh, Raukow's LP, and he did a uh, cleanup of like all of the paths. What path did you do, or have you not? I'm really glad that's a message box and not an auto text, by the way, because it makes restarting this a lot better. 
This is my favorite out of the three of this path. Pretty sure you took room five. Oh, Muncher Snake? Why did I go over? Eat it. No more Zoomy. No more Zoomy. You can make this. You have control. Now Zoomy. A little bit. This is fine. Clear! Alright. Unfortunately, I'm not out of the woods yet because it's left or right. Six looks hard, it's apparently optimal speedrun path since it's not an auto scroller, and there's a way to take flight in it, but if the cape's already lost by room six, five is faster. Yeah, five is just memorization, so eventually it would get consistent, but like. I'm gonna take left. Oh, right, this is the melon pizza lol Yoshi path, isn't it? Lol Yoshi? Okay. Yeah, this is this path. This is like relatively safe. If I play safe, I am okay. Because I can get infinite power-ups, eventually. Melon Pizzas is really cool too. I might like save state through it at some point. Like not through the entire path, but getting to it. Just getting back here consistently fairly every time is very dangerous. I'm in danger, and this is like probably where I die and have to redo four, but it's fine. Because four isn't that bad. Because I was panicking at the end, yeah, sure, but like. I knew that was gonna happen. I I knew as soon as I jumped. Uh I guess I'll tr when I get back there, I'll try the melon pizza half because it's really interesting. If I can get to the room transition between the two pads, because the pads converge there, and it's like one of the coolest thing Bowser's Castle does there is the side pads converge. If I can get there, I'm actually in the clear because like I have power ups at that point because they respawn. All right, but that's fine because I don't mind redoing this. This 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 room is like a lot of fun. Things like 2L2R, yeah. No zoomies yet. Zoomies here. No zoomies. Just panic, don't panic, don't panic, just read the turtles. Yeah, okay, a little too high. A little too high. That is just pure video game at that point. Like, it's pure reaction, which I seem to be okay at. But Dobe, just yesterday when playing Mega Man, you were complaining that you were more of an analytical platformer than a reactionary platformer. Yes. Next question. Give my left hand a much needed break. Not pay attention for a second there. It's really easy to read. Eat that guy, no more zoomies. Your shot. And beat. Yeah, I shouldn't actually zoomies that, but there we are. Actually doesn't matter. I tried to weave between the turtles and I didn't need to. I, I actually didn't need to do that. What, what was I doing? <laughs> I'm enjoying this room. I don't I don't really re I don't mind having to redo that room. And I'm gonna have to redo it a third time because I'm checking out the melon pizza half of uh, this. I hate this more than room four at this point. I don't even hate this that much. Yeah, this is the most fun out of the three pads for me. Like, yeah, it's an auto-scroller, but it's like the most fun. If it weren't for the fact that you had to redo- you had to do multiple sections at once, I'd probably, you know, give the other doors an earnest try. Let's try this without zoomies entirely, because I think I can do that. Why did I not go over? That's why I didn't go over. Probably go under the guy. Oh, 
making sure you don't need zoomies here. Okay, cool. Ooh, clear with a mushroom. Fun is the op optimal strat, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be painful going to the melon feeds have dying here. That's fine. I'm going into the melon pizza half with a mushroom. Practice issue marathon levels on the smaller scale, yeah. Okay, so I have two hits regardless. This is actually really cool. Oh, I can't grab that. I didn't get a high enough bounce. The laser is blocked by platforms, and it's really cool. Okay, you know what? I want to show it off, but I'm going to actually accept the death, but I want to show that off. Like, I actually want to show it off. I'm going to accept the death, but I don't want to get back here, suck at it, and die again. So, I want to show it off. I just want to show it off. I'll take the death. I won't actually count it if I prog, but like, because I'll do room for again. So I'm gonna... There we go. See? I thought I could climb on that for some dumb reason, but yeah. It's just hurty lasers. They don't instantly kill you? Okay. Yeah, this is like really cool. that okay and then the lol yoshi part it meets up like how far off was i to that and then you can like get that over and over again which i probably will do yeah i don't know how far off i was from that but oh well i just wanted to show actually the melon pizza part might actually no the I, the end of the melon pizza half is really 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 hard whereas the lol yoshi the end of the okay so i'll take the melon pizza part for the first half and then just take the take the pipe to the uh, lol Yoshi half, and just go from there. I think I think that's the play I make, and that's why I think like the second third of the castle is like the funnest part, cause like those two paths converge and you can actually pick without having. It's, it's like actually really cool. It's really cool how that designed out. I really 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 love how that just was a thing. Not just because it gives me infinite power ups either. But because it's like you can choose your own path within your own choose your own path. And that's like really cool. Okay, that's why I go over both. That's fine. No more zoomies. Don't leave between the turtles. Cool. Hup, hup. Don't need the zoomies. I kind of do there. I need to course correct with the zoomies. Yeah. Melon on pizza, cheer some deep cat creep flags. Generally not a fan of split path levels, feel like I've said this already. They do work well in group hacks where you let multiple people participate, yeah. I yeah, I like them exclusively in collab hacks. Like I don't necessarily like them in solo hacks because then it's like, do you want beige house number twenty-two, beige house number twenty-four, or beige house number twenty-six? Whereas in this would you like to play Zoomy Cloud level? Would you like to play Muncher Snake? Or would you like to play what the hell platforming? Well, not actually what the hell, because Rockout didn't make the room, but you know. You know what I mean. More Zoomy. Big Japanese are like Nizumi, but not. Okay, but I can chill off of the Zoomy at the beginning of that. Like after after a turbo tunnel, I can actually like chill off the Zoomy a little bit. This is just like pure fun for me. I don't know what it is. I didn't think I would like this room that much, but like. Okay, I... uh, zoom. Kind of surprised I got the mushroom there, not gonna lie. Chill off of the zoom. -y. Yeah, that was bad. Okay. I was trying to get the mushroom and then I couldn't re course correct without going too far down. Each and every death in room four has been my fault. Nothing has felt bad game-wise about room four. It's all just felt like I have made this, this mistake and I know exactly what mistake I have made. And it's like, just really fun to zoom around in the cloud. I don't know what it is. It's just, uh, this is like making my entire day right now. <laughs> Like, this is just not super difficult, but it is still really demanding and challenging, but, like, not in a bad way. And you can, like, read all- well, at least- 
Whoops, jump is bad. <laughs> right, jump is death. Why? I, because I was on the right. Don't hold up or down during that segment. That's that's a new one. <laughs> that's a new one. This is like really, really, really difficult gameplay, followed by even more difficult gameplay after to follow. That means I have to redo the difficult gameplay, which normally I despise. But like, I don't know, redoing room four. It's like if you put something after Ornstein and Simone in Dark Souls, like, oh no, I have to refight this really fun but difficult thing over and over again. Like, this doesn't bother me. This is like, even though it's an auto-scroller too, it's like an auto-scroller, but it's like, kind of weirdly fun. I don't know what it is about it. I'm just, I'm having a lot of fun with this room. I'm gonna start zoomies past the, uh, rope. I'm gonna do this, but like, more consistently. I think the way I've been doing it is like the best way to even though I get hit there sometimes. That's fine. Because I have a mushroom. And even if I had a backup mushroom, I wouldn't be able to collect it at all. Also, why did I? I, I was just, I fell asleep at the wheel. Thinking about AOT design again, haven't resumed it, been thinking about it a lot lately. That's like the embers of the old campfire, like trying to rekindle themselves I feel like or at least that's how it works creatively with me it's like I'm thinking about this thing like a lot maybe it's time I actually do but also probably not kind of thing it's like that's the mindset I get <sighs> next checkpoint I don't know I'll, I'll take a peek at 789 789 is special they're all hard and you don't necessarily get a choice That would be a really annoying thing to do on the controller, I reckon. Beat the thing. Okay. Don't panic. Panic is the enemy. Read. Okay, this is fine. We've done this before. Small. Read. Why did I zoomies that far down? I don't know. Okay, that's just a simple turbo tunnel, got it. Clearly you do the first three and only do six. <laughs> only do six and nine, yeah, clearly. While you don't like split path levels, do you include Super Mario World, uh, CS2 gimmick, some vanilla, never seen it elsewhere, yeah. And the nature of that gimmick makes it, sort of, yeah. Like, you can choose how the level plays out, but it's not so drastic that, like, one part's really bad and the other parts are, like, really good or whatever. Like, having split paths where, like, all of them are good and also different is, like, the ideal. You want the, you want each split to feel different in a, in a level like this. To play to, like, this is for this person's strength. I'm good at this because I like this kind of design. But the others aren't bad and also not unfun kind of thing. I don't need to zoom these past that. If I can, like, actually read the things right. Like, I'm getting kind of a muscle memory for it. Yeah, that was okay. Rune's plan for it, sort of noise. That would be some nice level design, it would, yeah. Like, part of me wants to do the whole give myself a checkpoint after the thing, but like, I enjoy room four as much as I'm like still stuck on it. Like, I've only cleared it twice. It's still fun, like, I'm having fun playing it. Experiment number 24. <laughs> Yeah, I did like the title. That's a really cool title for a level in a, in a game like AUT. Right, I forgot what was happening for a second. Right. I don't have a consistent way of like not getting hit zooming down, but zooming down has been like consistently the safest strat there. I, I thought I had the mushroom, but like you just don't get the mushroom there. Yeah, in a game with mostly alteration, it feels very fitting thematically and atmospherically. Even if I don't like clear this right now, I'm having a lot of fun with it, but I would love to get to the next checkpoint. Alliteration. Right, right. Alteration did fit though. 
feels like the world is like altered. Like this level, this room has a lot of things I don't like, but like put together in such a way that it's actually kind of really pleasing. I think I just like kind of stop zooming when I get down that far. Yo! Did that one proper. Okay, I'm gonna take the melon pizza to the pipe because that's shorter of a path. Whatever. I'm getting a mushroom at the start, it's fine. Vanilla, without any change aside having a new people have done that. Is humanity twin toys? It's just hard. If I can get this gem consistently, I'm in the pit. I'm in the clear. And I'm in the clear. Now I'm just gonna like power up completely. Like double flower power up completely. Wonder I, I have no idea. Cause it's not a world piece thing, it was melon pizza. World pieces was like also really cool though. I feel like the melon pizza half is shorter, but like at this point, oh, if I had green switch, that'd be we'd be in business. Okay, I'm safe-ish. I'm safe here, kind of. That was risky. I should probably have gotten hit there. Oh, you're only in one fireball. Okay. Oh, I don't have to talk. Okay. And those are safe. Sars clock tower, yeah. Uh, I should have gone back for power-ups and I'm gonna try the second half of the melon pizza half actually. Cause like I know the end is incredibly rough precise platforming but like I feel like that might be easier and shorter. But I get to do this room again so it's fun. This room doesn't bother me yet. That kind of hurt though, not gonna lie, losing there. It was a very silly way to have lost my power up too. Again. Music is a great fit for the level, absolutely.
It's always romancing Saga, too. It's like a VIT meme that just kind of like became standard, huh? That literally just happened, okay. I just have to actually play careful. I've done this before, small. Don't panic. There we go, we're, we're fine. Done this small too. Damn. Oh, maybe I can stay completely top of that. Since VIP 3, yeah. Because wasn't VIP 1 like the first collab hack or something? Again. Why did I zoom you there? What? It was weird. Why did I do that? <laughs> I can't think of any other collab hack that came before. Basically, as soon as I'm under the guy. So Melon Pizza Hub is better. Also, I can scroll here. Give myself an easier time with fireballs. I'm not gonna that mushroom if I get hit early somehow. But like the death, the danger early here is like hit death, not um, damage. So I should just tank, honestly. I should have gotten hit. I absolutely a thousand percent should have gotten hit there. There we go, makes up for it. Okay, I'm gonna get double mushroom. Well, not double mushroom, but I'm gonna get two stages of hit. And continue here, I think. I'm gonna see what this is. Cause like now the laser part gets like really, really tricky with the platforming and like really demanding in some parts. That's really cool. All right, I don't wanna kill you that way. Kaiser Gate. I have to come back for that because it's gonna turn into a flower, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, perfect. Good, good. Yeah, you're gonna fall through that. This is clever. This! This is what I was afraid of. I thought there was a laser. Okay, okay, the melon pizza half is- the, the melon pizza part is, um, that's the path. That's the path, because that's the end. Okay. Very doable, very doable. I just have to- okay, I know the- I know the dance, just have to actually execute. We in there. We in there! Plus I get to play room four again. Long spikes don't have a hitbox until they start- really? Can I, out of uh, hypothetical curiosity, exploit that fact? If I have a hit? Just in case. Good to know. Why did I... I'm like losing my muscle memory because I'm panicking from the end of the last room. 
Yeah, once I'm under the guy, the fuzzy guy. That's fine. Yeah, you can stay up top of that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Screen scrolling for the win. Screen scrolling where you can scroll forward and the volume the opposite. Oh yeah. I think the sprites were the pretty exploitable. Yeah. That was really risky. I probably should be dead. Exploitifications. Oh, I'm big here for the first time. I could just sack because I'm getting power-ups anyway. Now, without this connecting bit with power-ups right here, this section, this leg would be a lot less fun. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna stick with the melon pizza party. I'm using falling spikes, line guide fortress, some leftward portions to interrupt any R scrolling. Ooh. I hope that input was ex was especially delicious. I hope that uh, was especially delicious of an input. The one time out of this entire leg I feel like the game robbed me. The literal first time. No more zoomies. God, no zoomies yet, rather. Yeah, I like how it's just kind of a general feel to this room. I should have gotten hit. Cool. It's hungrier than a Yoshi, yeah, right? Yoshi just eat the input and use an egg. <laughs> input egg. <laughs> Reference that somewhere, please, for the love of God, that's hilarious and clever. Input egg. I'm putting that in an RPG somewhere. Okay. Focus! The burp needs to focus. That's like the hardest jump in this entire section, I feel like. I don't know how you pass that without taking damage. I legitimately have no idea. Here's my safety net. I almost rushed that, and I almost stood at the corner. Cool. I'm getting better at room four, like, whoop. that's important. Okay, that time was different, but I was afraid of the in eaten input. Huh. That's fine. That was that was my impatience, that wasn't the game. I wanna practice mode that jump, but like, I'm not gonna. Cause getting back to practice there is asking a lot. If I can get past that jump again, I think I'm in the clear though. Input egg for next jump gimmick, yeah. This is, like, kind of not the shortest segment, but it's also not, like, super long either, and it's pretty consistent for me. I like that coin guide, specifically. 
Yeah, I'm getting better at that. Okay. I appreciate that text box very much. That interrupting text box, I appreciate it a lot. I wonder if Jump Team is working on it. Yeah, I know. It's been over a year since Yump the second. I hope they're still doing stuff. Like, Jump Team hacks are, like, really fun. Even if, like, a bit beyond my skill level, they're really fun. The first jump after the pipe is actually the hardest. This is a close second. Yeah, like, that's the idea, but, like, I'm not able to get that. That was almost too fast. I'm gonna take a hit here, probably. Yeah, that's fine. I had a hit to take. I want a checkpoint so bad. Oh, not that I'm tired of room four, but I'm, I just, I want to move on. <laughs> Where the fact that it was planned to be a sequel to Yump was seemingly one of the main jokes. Yeah, because it had very little to do with Yump 1. It's just like kind of its own thing, Yump, Yump 2. I'm gonna practice this, so I'm giving myself a practice mode. It's when your arms are raised. It's when your arms are down. It's literally free because you get a second hit here anyway. I actually kind of really like this swamp as a puzzle. I get back there and practice moding it. I didn't realize there was more. I thought that pipe was the exit pipe. A very silly looking Yoshi jump that I think I have the feel for, but I don't want to get there and be wrong four or five times redoing all of it to get up there. I'm starting to wonder if the melon pizza path is like actually the truth there. But, like, the Lol Yoshi part's just legitimately a lot harder to, like, survive. Whereas the Melon Pizza part, I can get farther more consistently. That coin trail is, like, literally perfect for my, my particular strats. It's, like, actually perfect. I appreciate that text box very much. Am I zooming? Cool. I'm retired a bit. Good luck at bed, Kiel. Thanks for hanging out. I very much appreciate it. The first half of the melon pizza path is absolutely the way. Because it's significantly shorter and nowhere near as difficult. Ooh, that's rough. That's very rough. Um, I have seen 125.69 ran once. Um, I saw a TAS once, I think. But I don't think I've seen any percent, no. Okay, that's the first time I've done that without getting hit, so that's cool. And then it literally doesn't matter. Flying through this melon pizza- what? Oh god, I could not. I could not speedrun this. God, how would you fly through this? What? Oh, I have to see this run now. Change flight using Cape Invincibility to pass through the lasers.
Yeah, Kaiser Gates are never gonna be my forte, I'm afraid. Oh, cool. Didn't get hit there. Holy. Seems I'm probably gonna get hit here. No, 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 I want to practice this. Like, I want to know how this is supposed to go. Except that I died there, but like, there's invisible blocks there, okay. Like that? Interesting. How much more do I have? This is the one I was actually scared of, okay. I don't know how you're meant to do that. I'm gonna keep the practice mode to try that. Oh, and then the very, very end. Okay, so it's practice mode time. How do I, like, what does it actually want? I think the, I think this is where, like, I stopped doing the melon pizza path. Because it's fine up until this. No, uh. How are you supposed to do this without getting hair? Or are you even? It's like, this is possible, but like. Something like that? Oh, right, but you can't land on the Yoshi again. Okay. Like... Something like that. Okay. I want to see how all of this is supposed to work. Because, yeah, obviously you're not meant to just tank it. And, like, that's not always going to be an option. Getting here with power-ups is just not always going to be a thing. Like, I'm just practicing these segments for a half I'm probably not actually going to do. Like, that's something. Be very precise and quick entering an up height. Okay. And then that would be the midpoint. Okay. I mean, I accept that I died. But it's time to go to the lol Yoshi side from the midpoint. Yeah, I'm not beating through all of that. Although I did just practice it, but like, there's a difference between getting there and having the safety net of tools versus getting there like after the length of room four and the first half of the melon pizza room and everything else. Like, it's all doable, but like, can I do it all consistently at the end of- after everything else? Probably not. So, careful play with double fireball strat. Go. But it's still the melon pizza room first half is like absolutely the truth. Check eight's prominence. I don't exactly mean, but what are they? A very very difficult, borderline unfair bit of Marioing. What am I doing? Why am I zooming? Oh, I'm zooming. I've been streaming an hour and a half. Normally I'm done with jump after like an hour. But I really want this checkpoint, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure what to make of that. That far. That's bad. That's very... I have to do this perfect. Yeah, 
First half, melon pizza. Second half, probably lol Yoshi, if I'm being honest. This is just really, really long. It's like, I'm doing this to keep the box there. Collected your coin, your death is canonized. You're only one fireball. I'm safe here. I'm also safe here. Yeah, I'm completely safe on the left pipe. I have to keep you dead though. So, but our scroll is different. Even if I take a hit, there's a fire flower there, actually. Am I safe here? I'm decidedly not. If I can get here with a fire flower, I straight up win. You're only one. Okay. <sighs> I should have known it was there, but that is a dick move. I kind of feel like I lucked out past that boomerang bro because he didn't jump when he should have. I believe so, yes. What am I doing? I'm just messing up. My mind is like ahead of where I need to be. <sighs> I know I can do it, but like, it's a matter of getting back there again. It's like this is like the end of both paths is like kind of where my sailing is. Difficulty wise. And 789 are definitely also a thing.
don't grab that mushroom. Don't need it. I guess I somehow get hit here. Yeah, I'm aware. I uninstalled the extension, so I have no idea. I just legitimately have no idea. Like, I have no idea. Revert chicken a feather into a cake feather, that'd be nice. to have again though. I don't care. I don't care. I want an actual attempt at the this path, and I'm kind of like, it's it's the marathoniness is actually kind of wearing on me. The marathon of this is like actually starting to get to me. I'm not keeping the checkpoint, but like if I die to something stupid early. Practice this too. Never mind. Actually, no, I want to practice it, but what are you meant to do? Like, what exactly are you meant to do there? That, I guess? That doesn't feel great. Yeah, I you know it just takes. I want to give myself a checkpoint there, like, really bad because the marathoniness of it is making that harder than it should be, and it's a lot to redo, and I hate marathon stuff as it is, and, like, I- this is the fun path I've chosen. Imagine if I had to do, like, a proper, difficult, annoying path every single time. Because you have to do this bit, and then one of the three rooms. Imagine if room 4 wasn't fun, and I had to redo that every time. That would get really, really bad, really fast. Trade a 256. I'm not sure what you mean. But I also, like, respect this level enough, like, this room, and the... Uh, preceding rooms enough that I want to do them fairly, but I'm also tired of the marathoniness. My hands are starting to hurt, and I don't want to come back to it later when I've lost muscle memory for room four. Second French fries got to the last three birthdays. Making piece of time. Cake soon. Nice. 256 warps under your 256. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I can save state and test if you'd like. I want to do this fairly, but I'm getting tired of the mix. <laughs> tired of getting to like. The mid the midway of the melon pizza part and dying to an eat and jump. And the lol Yoshi part's just kind of awkwardly busy. Where like getting hit is just like it's it's longer.
Okay. Can I replace game choice to reload level in the overworld of these tiny level map? Like the first half of the LOL Yoshi levels out, but the first half of the melon pizza level is like actually super consistent. This is like super consistent, this half. It's not perfect, but it's super consistent. Like I can reasonably get here like 98% of the time. Or like get to the pipe 98% of the time. It's from here that it gets messy. How long do I have to go here? Myself a, not a ch not a proper checkpoint to like beating it, but I want to see how long it goes. I want to see the end because I've seen the end of the melon pizza half, and I'm not getting it. Like I'm not gonna get it on a proper run. So I want to see this. safe here entirely. Okay, I'm here so I'm not gonna I'm gonna see the guy spawning. I don't think I can- I don't think I can send fireballs far enough. Maybe. But he's just gonna respawn- no, he's on screen technically. And there's no time limit. There we go. That should keep you from respawning. <laughs> ah, give me my freaking sweet! Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
I'd have to check the VOD to see what I was at um, before. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, uh, I did it fairly. Oh, that one felt great too. Oh. Because I respect that leg of Bowser's Castle a lot. But it's long. And I think it's like, this is my last checkpoint before Bowser itself. Oh my god. Oh, uh, that was rough and a half. Some random things about the two places where we focus on the game. Okay, now that I have time. Um... The counter overflows, the game tries to reload the level from the overworld, but it uses the level tile map as the overworld. So you warp to a level depending on the on the tile at your overworld coordinates. Most often it's a blank tile, tile 25, warping to level 101. Vanilla can enter if you star roads by block cloning onto that specific tile, something like a turn block or a multi-coin. Very convoluted, 40 minute way to, to orb a star road and gain plus one exit used to reach A4 exits rather than A2 exits by entering such a block as a level. A4 is the most exits reached without ACE. Didn't know one streamer used credits warp style setup to, to set the exit counter to P5255. It's only about 256 warp and other glitches originally. Yes. Ugh, that was a lot of video game to go through. That was that was quite the video game. I want to get exactly one life. And I also want to save here. The first two legs took 39 lives between them. Fairly well looked almost never patched out, it's so tedious to do, yeah. I want my save here as well. It's not well known as how it works. I agree with uh, I could- or rather, I could see that, I don't- I, I can't agree with something I don't fully understand. Cause we... Oh my god. I had declared a practice mode and then just casually kept a fire flower for a really long period of time and thus was able to just win the level that way. So yeah, for that, for that section, door four, first half melon pizza, second half, second half lol Yoshi was the key. Uh, I'm gonna try this last path, but... Okay, I'm in seven. I want to say this is... I forget who. Keep quiet in the library. Do not romp around on the floor. If you make a noise here, the patrol will come to stop you. Signed, Bowser. Thanks, Bowser, for respecting your own library. So yeah, falling too far makes a noise, and that attracts the danger. And wakes up the fish, and starts those things, and summons boss passes. And in all honesty, this is probably the path for me. Thankfully, they're not so boss bassy that they instantly kill you, but like... Okay. I'm gonna take a peek at all three doors. If one seems doable, I'll give it a go, but I think there's also side paths here as well, leading up to the Bowser checkpoint. That's, that's world peace again. I'll just try it when I get here, but like, I want to see the other doors, so I might like save state and just check them out. Oh, keeping the fire flower is cool, though. Oh, you can pause buffer? Okay. Well, I appreciate the gag of that. Okay. You didn't care about that. Still gonna do it with states. Yeah, 
Okay, this is nine. All right, perma spin. The other MM room. Oh, right, this one. This is the one I'm not doing. <laughs> it's layer two scrolling, but you don't scroll with it, so you don't have, like, like it's this really awkward momentum kind of thing. Which seems fine so far, but then, whoops, you fell down that platform. Have an extra potaboo as uh, punishment for not doing the jump perfectly first time forever. Yeah, this this is a badly designed room. So eight is out. Eight is out. Like I'm not even gonna try. Eight is just out. Oliver has some normal hacks and stuff. Yeah. So it's jump or library. I could probably learn this. Oh, go past it entirely. Right, I remember this one gets like kind of stupid eventually. Okay. I think, in all honesty, the library is going to be the way to go, because that one is, like, just reactionary dodging and segmented. I forget, is there a segment after 789, though? Like, is there more, uh, level? I'm gonna try so Yelpram's probably the only Yelp level in the hack I like. Yeah! Uh, I don't- I don't think that's the one I did. I think I did the Thwomp Room, the, um, Quiet Protag Room. But the Ulp Room was actually a really close second. It was- it was still a good room. I just, like, kind of went back and forth until I cleared three and decided I was just doing that. Oh, the... Right, right, the path through the old... Oh, okay. Any objections if I scout that out? I could look up the video or, um... Like, scum through... I could scout the library. Part of me wants to scout the library anyway, but that feels... Let's not, let's not scout the library. I could save scum through eight. Uh, even though that would even by itself be a thing. Library is pretty short, yeah. Actually, I think I will get back up to uh, the full 99 at this point. 99 lives. And then just aim for library every time when I'm doing attempts next time. Because I still have the end... Uh, I still have 79, the last guilt part, um, and then the Bowser itself, so, exactly, yep, I have exactly 60.
and I'm at 108 exits. I could unlock Shattered Dreams, yes. Doesn't mean I- well, first off I'd have to get there, which is not happening. It's just not. I didn't even beat or unlock Tactical Ambush Operation. Okay. Yeah, it's behind Depraved Stronghold and Miscellaneous Monument. Oh yeah, let's watch videos. Because I have 60 coins. I can watch most of them. I think this is the normal path. This is how I'm gonna unwind before tactics. I'm gonna go through the um, store houses, watch movies, collect anything I haven't collected yet except for the Shattered Dreams level list, obviously. I don't think I can watch um, Shell Sticker 1F8 either. I think those are both also 65. Or are they full 69? Oh, that starts it really late. Okay. Those were six and I've seen them watched. Okay. So how does Dev Intended Path do this? That way. Like that, okay. And then yeah. Oh, you can you can literally just okay. I didn't realize momentum would do Yeah, you really don't have a lot of time there, and this is tasked. Anyway, I'm taking the compression gloves off now. They really do help. What also helps is that room 4 required like very little actual input from my left hand, which is the one that cramps up. I still have to do, like, properly do the secret exit of House of the Holy because I did not do that fairly. But I, like, proof of concept that I could do it actually. I still think that particular checkpoint being Fire Flower locked is kind of stupid. <laughs> but it's MM, so I can't be surprised. I really did enjoy this level, I really did. This was a pretty cool level. So this isn't gonna be like the finale finale because I still like wanna give the last pads a shot. So like next time jump is probably gonna be like the for now finale. That's true, power up locked checkpoints are pretty stupid. Like we played through this bit of level but we didn't do it good enough, so. And this is the secret path, I want to say. Which I think I usually just got with a cave. Cave level and check more required. Yeah, exactly. Those world nine checkpoints. Yup. What are you? Shell trick and miscellaneous monument. Oh, I need to actually be there, right? Weird that, um.
Weird that Chains of Atrophy is in there. And not like in World 4s or something. Headlock checkpoints, yeah. One day I should go back and beat Gourmet Hindrance, but like, god no. That level's got like a bit more precision than I am comfortable with. Wait, this is save, not. I mean, I'll save, but yeah. To keep my last midpoint. It was top right. Interesting. This picks up perfect. Let's reach the peak, Drizzle. That's exactly 60. Pixel perfect legit. Let's watch that. Never did revisit Marina to grind out the true final level. Nor will I. Here's that level I skipped. Because, lol, I'm not doing a shell jump. This level is straight up a Kaizo level. And that's fine. It's optional. Because you can skip it and, like, all it unlocks is convenience, really. Sweet. And of course, this is that because you can't die in Overworld and reload in uh, an input video like this. I was wondering how the task would get around that. Turns out it's an altered level. Yeah, so is Gourmet Hindrance. In both aspects of the description. Straight up a Kaizo level and also completely optional. Much as I hate Cryophobia Cavern, I'd rather do that than Gourmet Hindrance. Because that level's bad, but like... Oh, you have to visit Shell Sticker in 1F8. Right, yeah. That's not happening. Because that requires beating. Um, true final level in Star Room. Blah, 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 yeah. It's not like you played it, yeah. Because beating Depraved fairly is... awful. Shadow Dreams gives a checkpoint in every split, yeah. I think I've seen all the videos here, and World 6 is the last one I'll check, because World 3 I'm pretty sure I've just done. Wait, no, this is shop. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, that was weird, loading that for a second. Necessarily need that backup shroom, but whatever, I'll keep it anyway. It's a win shroom. House of the Holy Secret, which I already knew. But let's watch it anyway. Oh, you can just make that. Okay, cool. Yeah, this was like the most annoying thing because like you're not- you're basically not getting through there without getting hit. Like 
a lot of those a lot of these falls just don't feel great. Luckily I never have to actually do this part again. Cause I don't think I'll be replaying jump after this. Uh this is one of those games I can actually just like, you know, put down. You switch to climb up a coin guide, yep. Oh yeah, no, this the secret unlocking the secret path is pretty clever. It's actually really nice. No no more jump. I'm still gonna do um the re or I'm gonna attempt the rest of Bowser's castle. Oh I pfft, yeah, it's not happening. Uh, and then this was fifty-five for you. Guidance and disarray. Let's watch disarray, it's one of my favorite levels. I played it twice. After this, I gotta do um, FF6 Brave New World, and by that I mean um, trying Brave New World, and if I don't like it, playing the Steam version of FF6. Um, and then a playthrough of Dark Souls. As the miscellaneous path. I like how it didn't use the blue block there. That's clever. For marinas, for a piece which climbs, where it seems to be a random rectangle coins need to jump through them to create a, create a platform, yeah. I think, uh, one of the- I think VIP1 did that for, like, its first Star Worlds, uh, level. The seven Talon rooms. That jump sucks! I hate that jump. Zwee! I like this, this particular section just because it's a fake out of, oh, I have to hit the Goomba up there because that's what it looks like. No, actually you don't want to hit the Goomba up there. Well, that's how you get that without dying. Okay. Then it relied on disabled flight to work anyway, yep. Well, it's not so much disabled flight as in you physically couldn't bring a cape into that room, I don't think. It gave you three flowers and a really long muncher hallway. Oh, the task doesn't do the timing the way I did. One, two, three, hop. I play enough FF14 Savage Raid to like get timing of things. <laughs> it's really sad that I just kind of like applied that knowledge elsewhere. Yeah, you're supposed to double gold. Well, I guess you can just do that too. We can't bring a cape. Oh, no, oh, you meant Marina. I meant the VIP one. I meant the VIP one rectangle. Lamau. Yeah, Disarray is just. I wish this level had music instead of just, you know, SMW Ghost House. It's like the only part of this level I find, like, truly boring. Do I just, like, try the library again? Because my hand's a little more rested now. Inspired by Smelty's questionable series. <laughs> Left turn, one tile, passage, water level. Yep. <sighs> Okay, remade all of my backup between stuff states. Oh, 
what I was doing, whatever. This one's worth trying, although this one's probably like beyond me levels of hard. Yeah, this doesn't seem so bad so far. Okay, that was that was silly. I literally had no reason to do any of the stuff that I did that led to my downfall. Part of me wants to make a state at the beginning of Door 7 just because getting back to it is just... Like, it's a fun gag, but no, considering Door 8 exists. And pause buffering in this game sucks. This is a bomb attempt, but I'm gonna keep going anyway. Like, I know this is a losing run, but like, I'm progging. Okay, first two sections are more or less copacetic. That's not a power up, Dovey. It's a power down. Well, now I have to do this awful thing. With that guy still around, okay. Okay, I think I actually am getting a little more consistent at entering the door I want to enter. Pause buffering an AUT? Nope, I have not. I, in theory, have the first two sections down. Oh, just skip it. Okay. New stuff. You get the fire flower because the cape breaks the level. I understand now. That said, it's probably not impossible to actually bring a cape here. Hold up. I don't want to try it. Oh, no scrolling. You know what? That makes sense. That's why you're there. Okay. No, I understand. I landed on the poison shroom. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sign something. I wanna get a cape and see if I can do what I think I can do. Because I think I can bring a cape there. Am I going to do that? No. But I want to see if I can. Because I am, like, totally content to, like, end off today, but, like, screwing around with some science. Because I have a lot to say for the, like, actual quote-unquote finale of, like, the video project of me playing Jump. 
No moving, reducing delay is gonna... Um, apparently there's a lot of potential with the 16 frame delay removed, or LR buffering seems to advance the game one frame per LR alt alternation. By a lot of potential speedrunners trying in round release. Strange to think that removing, reducing delays and open new player options, yeah. I just want to see if this is possible. Coin guides are always accurate. Oh, that's a fun level. That's a very fun level. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, they thought of that. Okay. They, in fact, thought of that. Okay. That's why that pillar is there. You are not having a cape in this level, no matter what. Damn. Right, the strat is skip the room. Okay, very careful jump there. I want to practice mode that, but I also don't. Okay. 